Hello, I'm Christina Unarat, a technical marketing engineer with Mauser Electronics. I'm here to introduce the newest product from Renaissance Electronics, the EKRA4M1, an evaluation kit for the RA4M1 microcontroller group. The EKRA4M1 evaluation kit enables users to effortlessly evaluate the features of the RA4M1 MCU group and develop embedded systems applications using Renaissance's flexible software package and various IDEs. As you pull the board out of the box, you'll notice that the board does not come populated with a potentiometer. The documentation recommends Born Series 3352T-1-1, which we have linked for you below. The board comes pre-programmed with a simple demo that can be run immediately after unboxing. Using two micro USB cables, plug one to J9 and the other into J11. Plug the USB type A end into the two available USB ports on your computer. You will notice a red LED blinking at location LED1. The frequency of the pulsing can be varied by pressing the push button at location S1 repeatedly. Additionally, you can connect to the board using a terminal interface such as TerraTerm, which provides a brief interaction and additional useful information regarding the product. Renaissance provides a complete installation package comprised of both flexible software package as well as E2 Studio Integrated Development Environment. Navigate to the link shown. Here you will find all the key features and additional information needed to interface with the evaluation kit, such as the user's manual and quick start guide. Click on the flexible software package hyperlink in the overview section. As before, you will see an overview of the software as well as the key features. Click download the latest FSP version from the banner at the top of the page, which will take you to Renaissance's GitHub page. Under the release notes, you will see a link allowing you to download the latest release. Click this and wait for the download to complete. Locate the downloaded software and execute. Follow all on-screen instructions during installation. You should now be able to run E2 Studio IDE in order to interface with the evaluation kit. Renaissance has provided a plethora of additional examples, including the one that comes preloaded on the development kit. You can find all these as well as additional information by navigating to github.com slash renaissance. Click on the link for the RA-FSP-examples. Select the examples project folder. Choose the development, which for the purpose of the video is EK underscore RA4M1. Click the downloadable folder. Choose any of the available example projects by clicking the corresponding folder or select the download underscore all dot zip to copy all the examples to your PC. You will need to extract the contents of the example or examples you selected. Now open the Renaissance E2 Studio IDE, click file, Import. Under General, select Existing Projects into Workspace. Click Next. Next to Select Root Directory, click the Browse button and navigate to the folder you stored the extracted examples. Select the folder for the example you are wanting to modify. For this example, we will be using the Quick Start example that comes preloaded onto the board. Click OK. You'll see the project selected in the Projects field. Click Finish. Once the example has loaded, you can expand and pull up the configuration.xml file. From here, you can manipulate different features such as ADC shown here. Then you can finalize any changes you wish to make. Click Generate Project Content button. 
Next, click the build icon. Lastly, launch the debugger. You can hit the start resume button or F8 to start running the code. Now that we've gone through this demo together, you can see how easy it was to use the EKRA4M1 Evaluation Kit.